Hey guys, welcome back to part two of how I sent my satellite into space. Uh, today we have a lot of work to do, so let's jump straight into it. If you've seen the part one video, you know that the first time around we partnered with Near Space Launch. But since then, we've totally redesigned our balloon rig and we're going to be launching on our own. So today I can show you all of the tools that we used and all of the suppliers we use for our very own balloon launch. The first thing we need to do is weigh our new payload. Now that we know our payload weighs 2200 grams, we want to convert that into pounds and we're going to use that to pick out our balloon. I'm going to show you the vendors that we use. Nobody's sponsoring this video, but I highly recommend these products. They've worked really well for us in the past. So Kmon makes really good high altitude balloons. Technically, the 800 gram balloon is only recommended for payloads up to four pounds so we're going to be a little bit on the heavy side but we've done this before and we can get away with it so it might be smart to use a bigger balloon but we're going with the 800 gram kmont the next thing we need to do is decide on a parachute we like using sphere chutes and they have this handy descent rate chart on their website so if our payload weighs 4.8 pounds i wouldn't want to use the 42 inch because that would be on the heavy side and it's going to be dropping really fast so i would step up to the 48 inch parachute and that's what we'll be using for this flight. Now that we have those things picked out, we can use the burst calculator tool and I'll put links to all of these in the description uh, for those of you following along to do your own balloon launch. You need to enter in the weight of our payload, that would be 2210. Select the balloon that we're going to be using, that's the 800 gram from Kmon, and then choose our target altitude which is 28,000 meters. And then the last thing, uh, we're going to be using hydrogen. Instead of helium, so in these advanced constraints, you need to switch to hydrogen. And then what we have here now is we have the neck lift that's desired. So when we're filling the balloon, that's what we're going to look for on our scale to make sure we have enough lift. And then we also know roughly how much of our lifting gas we're going to need so that we bring enough to the field with us. Uh, the last step is to take all of that information and plug it into a tool that will actually calculate the route of your flight. So this is just an example launch location in North Branch, Michigan. I've already entered the latitude and longitude. You can get these off of Google Maps. You can also get the altitude off of Google Maps. Next, you're gonna enter the time of the launch. Uh, pay attention that this is in UTC. That's uh, Zulu time if you're a pilot. Uh, the launch date, uh, May 27th, that'll work. And then the ascent rate was actually calculated by our tool. So we go back over here, 4.67 is what we're going to do for our ascent rate, 4.67. The burst altitude we used was 28,000 meters. And then our descent rate is actually determined by the parachute. So we're at 19 feet per second. Uh, that is pretty close to 5.7 meters per second. So then we hit run prediction and we know that we are going to be very close to the coast if we launch here. So maybe not a good idea with these configurations, but uh, this tool is really handy for giving you an estimate of where the balloon is going to land. And it takes into account things like the winds at high altitude and how that's going to push your balloon around. The next thing we need to do is actually make a phone call to the FAA. Hello FAA. Yes. I'd like to launch a balloon. To submit a notice to airmen. Uh, that's just a courtesy, but we always do it so that local pilots know we'll be launching and know that they should avoid the area where our balloon might be flying. Now that we've done all the hard work, we're ready for launch.
excited. I am terrified. We're close. <laughs> there it is. It's right there. Do you see it? Yeah, it's right there. Ah! In front of these. Uh, oh my yeah. goodness. Yeah, I told you a barn place. Whoa. Oh my word. It's How close right were we? Oh, wow. Like, wow. It's upright and all the pieces are there. That's amazing. Dogs. He lost his head. What the heck? Are the lines? Oh, they're just tangled? Honestly, that's impressive. Okay, let's take it over the ground. Okay. You're still here? The video's over, guys. Okay, I guess if you want, you can watch the full-length video here. I'm out of here. Bye.